hey guys and team technology is back with another video and uh, in this video I'm going to show you more exposed modules for fully customize your Android device running any Android version so first I'm, sh I'm going to show you that I'm running a stock pure Android it's you can see it's a 4.4.4 KitKat there's nothing nothing but a customized customization done here or here is purely stock Android my first step is to install the expose installer because it is the main root of these in expose modules so we'll go to download sorry we'll go to expose we'll go install it we'll now install it and uh, now we'll open it and you see there's a framework option we'll open the framework you key some sort of warning because uh, that's not at the rooted app you'll click on install update when you start install it's uh, there's a super user request because it is a rooted app so it needs root permissions so I'll grant it I've already installed it so I don't need to reboot again and again but you can have to reboot it so activate this now we'll go to our modules there are, ta there are many modules I'm talking about in this video I'm going to talk about in this video and uh, the all the modules are described in the description below with a timestamp you see I have a lot of modules installed Chrome Pi, Gravity Box, Unicorn, Isui Mod, iPhone I'll show you all of them so, so first we have to enable all these and now this is your exposed module list was updated changes will become active on reboot so we'll reboot first hey guys we are now back after rebooting our device so you'll see that our all the modules are now activated activated so one by one I'll show you all my modules so first is Chrome Pi a Chrome Pi is something that uh, at a Pi launcher to your Chrome you can just simply touch it on the left side or the right side right side to trigger it out so I'll show you it I'll show you that uh, when I open Chrome there's no settings on the you can go to this for settings but this Chrome Pi allows you to set, uh, use settings like this it will have different different uh, quick actions like entering website or switching between switching between tabs or open a new tab incognito or just to turn off the Chrome yeah, turn off the Chrome so that said it only do this so next week next uh, show you guys extended navigation bar extended navigation bar allows you to add different pages to your navigation bar so for this you can you have to add you have to pay for it you have to upgrade to the donate version you have to donate to the developer so but with the free version you can add only two pages left and the right page you see default left page as a music player you can see that the music player in the left you can see the, the previous track next track and a play button play button on the navigation bar and it's a little page common page and the next is the quick settings you can see the quick settings are Wi-Fi location I can turn on location also Bluetooth flight mode I can auto rotation now I'll go back now I'll go to my common page and that's it you can do this so next module I'm going to show you is GUI mode Zui mod is a free basic application that uh, that uh, adds some more system animations uh, like the, the most loved love feature in this app is list view animation you can see list view animation list view animation is occurs when you scroll something so my favorite is scale there are different options scale and set interpolator to anticipate and overshoot and you can test this list view you see you see it's an great animation this feature may be may not run on all the devices so that's not that's up to the device you see the very great animations there's different animation I'll show you about this I will elaborate about this UI mode in my next video so that's it for it that's it for now so next is I'm talking about quick pick to gallery Quick Pick to Gallery allows you to change your Quick Pick app name. Quick Pick app is name is Quick Pick is a gallery app for those phones who does not have any stock app 
or they have to use google photos but that they do not like so this allows you to this allows you to change your quick pick name to gallery or anything else you can custom add the custom name so it is okay the custom name so it will change after the reboot you will change after the reboot you see hello youtubers is now done and the next uh, module i'm going to show you is iphone iphone changes your system font the whole system font changes the whole system font changes there are the different uh, options for the fonts uh, the most most favorite i like is choco cookie and search choco there's a choco cookie I tap on this there's a compare you can compare current 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 font and this replace and the font is replaced and this is preview and this you can set it uh, it, it needs a super user request so i'll come back in a moment after setting it up hey guys we are now back up uh, setting up the, the font you see that the fonts are now changed the fonts everywhere is now the change in the app drawer in the settings menu in the settings menu you see the beautiful history animations see the font is changed that's a great app for custom for who wants to customize their device so so i'll show you my next module my next module is uh, sorry sorry for inconvenience my next module i'm going to show you is gravity box gravity box is something that has many tweaks it is an all-in-one toolbox for your whole android device you can do anything from everything to your android device so let's get started i'll show you some of the tweaks i'll elaborate these tweaks in my next video because it has a lot of tweaks and it can take a lot of time so my first tweaks is says status bar tweaks status bar tweaks you can see you can change signal colors quick settings management status bar colors notification heads up you can allow notification heads up then requires a reboot the battery settings i can show you when you're stuck in together you can just turn off your batteries in here or you can just dash circle or you can use this circle battery with percentage or the circle battery only and there's a battery bar option to show you battery bar on this one you see the battery bar on the top of the every top of the status bar you can you can there's margin you can from and the thickness you can see the thickness is now not that much it's only one two three and there is charging animation you can see there's a color colors yeah, that's it and then the battery percentage because you as you all know that stock android phones does not have a battery percentage so you can apply this battery percentage so you can see there's a battery percentage now shown uh, just left to the just left to the battery icon you can change you can smallest you can change it smallest or larger uh, smaller is uh, looks better you can charging and you get animated when you charge it blinks green and white green and white green and that's it next is clock settings clock settings you can hide the clock you can center the clock you can center the clock so that's what happened you can enable or disable am or pm and, and you can single tap the icon whenever you tap this clock this is the date and time settings you can change it to any uh, just like i uh, change it to clock so when i tap on it it my clock will open and the next time I'm going to show you is display tweaks. Display tweaks has a first option as expanded desktop mode. There is an expanded desktop mode because these navbar and the status bar takes a lot of space uh, when you are playing a game, playing some games which do not support immersive mode. But this is a solution for that. You can uh, immersive navigation bar. That's good. You power off your long press your power off button. There is an expanded desktop option. You still have some option. The you see that the navigation bar is now immersed you can just slide up to get the back to it and now we we'll have we can we can semi immersive so both this and this can go has gone so it will increase your screen size a lot you can so 
so you can just disable it by going to expanded extra mode disable and the next is I'm going to show you is next I'm going to show you is uh, there is an option there is an I'm sorry for the there is an option called pie controls you can when expanded desktop mode is on the pie controls pairs and you see that there is an expanded desktop mode and there are no chance to repair it there's a pie control you can just slide from the bottom near the home button back button and the recent button you can go to home or you can choose your recent to go back to that go back to that okay that's it now we'll go just turn off this expanded desktop mode and uh, that's it for today that's it for see you in my next video uh, I'm a beginner on YouTube I'm making first I'm making videos at first so you can you can help me to improve my uh, language or speaking skills you can just comment it in the video below so thanks thanks for watching